Friends, in this video, I am looking at this small charging module. Uh, this is TP4056, TP4056 module. Uh, this IC controller, which is a very, very much common controller nowadays for uh, such batteries, uh, these batteries. This is uh, 3.7 volt standard battery, and also in mobile phones such batteries are there uh, they have charging circuit over here but if some battery have no charging circuit and there are only terminals exposed so then you can use this circuit uh, to control the charging rate for the battery uh, this charger will, will control the charging rate at one ampere maximum and also uh, there is a cutoff while the battery will be charged up to some uh, 4.2 volt so this will, charger will cut off at full battery uh, so how it is I'm going to explain a little bit about this module uh, these modules You can see these are five I purchased from uh, Aliexpress the dollar value is one I paid a little less than one uh, some 86 cents uh, for all these five uh, and I got them at my doorstep uh, so you can see these modules very simple module uh, there is battery plus BT plus BT minus N plus N minus and there is a small uh, USB micro USB a jack they have provided if you have uh, Android charging system like this Android charger then you can plug this Android charger directly in this one and you can provide some 5 volt or 6 volt from here to charge uh, your lithium ion battery or lithium polymer battery mm. so now I'm going to plug this in in front of you so then you will understand how it's working you can see there is a blue indication over here and then there is adjacent red indication is there so when there is no battery or the battery is fully charged so this blue indication will come it will show that your battery is charged but if the battery is empty or it is charging then the red, red indication will come over here uh, the red is adjacent in a little time I will show you how this red looks like uh, when we will connect this battery to the terminals so if this there is no battery or there is a charged battery over here so the uh, blue indication will come so this is the way how it works now I'm going to test all these four modules in front of you uh, all are good but anyhow I'm just testing uh, so that we will verify that all are good some way like this you can see all are working So very small and cheap module very low cost i'm going to uh, connect battery to this one i'm going to solder it so the soldering is required uh, you will solder a red wire or plus terminal of the battery to the bt, BT plus bat plus battery plus or here on this pad you will solder and on bat minus you will solder this uh, black or negative of the battery So this way I just soldered it my soldering is not perfect over here at this moment but anyhow it will work because we are just going to test it this is for the testing purpose uh, not for the permanent connection so just I'm going to put this one in uh, so let us see the voltage first before uh, connecting to the charger I'm going to check for the battery voltage if you can see on the meter screen it is showing you the voltage so here on the BT plus BAT plus and BAT minus I will check the voltage at battery terminals so this is something 3.9 volt you can observe over here uh, so uh, this is up to this is up up to some extent you can say this battery is fully charged but anyhow it will take little charge and then later on it will change the state uh, so hopefully it will show us the red indication and it will take charge so let us connect over here so see this red indication is coming and this red indication is showing that the battery is taking charge so one ampere charging rate is there uh, by this IC uh, TP4056 IC is providing one ampere charging through this charging port the current is coming and uh, from the IC this current is going to the battery conventional current from positive to negative uh, so this way it is controlling and when this will be completed the charge of course this indication will go to 
blue and the red will change to blue and it will show that your battery is fully charged now and you are able to use this battery for your purpose uh, so this was a little small demonstration i just explained in front of you but there is another charger which is almost free these chargers these charging boards we are purchasing but there is another way in which you can get one charger for such batteries completely free they are lying around you but unfortunately you don't know about them uh, where they are laying so i will show in some other video uh, how you can get those free charges uh, which are laying uh, in, around you uh, so hopefully uh, you will like this video as you are liking my other videos uh, give a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel press on bell icon and uh, stay tuned with my channel and with my videos thank you for watching